If you are installing the Everlock Plus fitting system and you put together a fitting that's not going exactly according to plan, we've got another video that shows you exactly what to look for as far as the 360 degree visual inspection. So this connection here, that connection there, this connection, those aren't what we're looking for. So you've got a couple of different options. With the brass fitting, what you can do is heat up the sleeve and the pipe with a heat gun and then you can take a pair of pliers and carefully pull off the sleeve and the piece of PEX pipe without damaging any of the sealing edges of the fitting. And then you can use that brass piece again, but you would want to start over with a clean cut piece of pipe and a new sleeve there. So that's the best way to do it for a brass fitting. If you are using a polymer fitting, the best bet is to just cut that out and then start over with a new fitting, clean edge of a piece of pipe, and also a new sleeve. So start over with all three pieces. Here are some things that we want to caution against. This won't be um, something that would be very helpful for you or for the occupants of the house. If you decide to take the fitting apart by cutting it out, either like this with a PEX cutter, um, we've had some people take a utility knife and cut through that. The reason that that is bad, you will get that off pretty effectively. It's, um, it's something that you can make happen with a knife. The issue is you can damage those sealing edges and that creates a leak path all the way through the fitting. So we don't wanna do that because we want to have those sealing edges nice and clean. Um, if you ever notice when you're putting together a fitting that there's a big gash or a cut or something like that in the fitting before you use it, just toss it and start over with the new one. We always wanna have the fittings look like this. Um, and if that means that you have to replace that piece and the sleeve and start over, that's a better way to go than to have a leak. Beyond creating a potential leak path um, when you put the fitting together back with a cut in the ceiling edges, it's just less expensive to use all new pieces. So regardless of what your cost per labor hour is, it's going to be less expensive to just buy another one of those and another one of these than it would be to have a leak later down the road or even the amount of time that it would take you to cut these pieces apart with a utility knife or a cutter. Um, it's just better to start with a fresh piece of every single component um, for a nice fitting.